Leading Edge by Ninja Theory was a big fail in my opinion. In this video, I'm gonna explain why. This video game is a brawler game that was released uh, for both Xbox One and PC on March 24, 2020. Now, the game was developed by Ninja Theory, uh, which is a well known developer who developed games like uh, uh, Devil May Cry, Enslaved Odyssey of West, uh, Hellblade, Disney Infinite 3, Heavenly Sword, and others. Now, this is actually the user based data based on steamcharts.com and as you can see here the average player in the last 30 days was 56.1 if you can see at the top you can see that the peak in the 24 hours is 45 and all time peak was uh, 828 just keep in mind there was a uh, close beta for this uh, and I'm actually playing this game in the close beta so of course some of the data is reflected based when before the game was actually released now even before the game was released i heard people saying on steam you know that this game is dead on arrival uh some actually uh mentioned that the main reason for this was actually because of the high price of the game now as of the time of making this video uh, the game sells for 29.99 uh both on steam and microsoft store now i played the uh, uh the close beta and i actually enjoyed it but I felt for some reasons that the game just doesn't feel complete. I mean, I like the characters, I like the mechanics, but still there are many things was actually missing there. For example, I wanted different game modes and each battle actually didn't feel like a team play. Like everyone went to the different side. It didn't, even if you work as a team, it didn't really feel like a really uh, interesting strategic uh, uh, team gameplay. That being said, I like I like the character design, I like the level design. It really was kind of a happy, very lively uh, action game where you just enjoy, you know, getting into a session and have fun with friends. Even by critics, uh, the game wasn't received that well, and same goes to users. Even if you visit Steam, you can see there are many negative reviews of this game. Uh, people really don't like the fact that there are not many game modes. Uh, uh, it lacks. Uh, more unique and interesting maps they feel all you know most of the maps feel more like this the same uh and uh, some people actually got bored with the combat uh, system itself now that being said i personally think there's a really big space for uh this type of brawler fighting games and we're gonna see more of those especially the, those who actually combine like uh, hero gameplay with really cool fantasy uh, theme and i'm sure we're gonna see plenty of those uh, in the near future as well However, if we keep this in mind that the game is not a free-to-play game, it's actually compete against many other games which are going to be released as free-to-play games. Another thing we need to consider that now, uh, as of the time making this video, we're still in the pandemic, and when it, this game was actually released, we are still people, many people actually lost their job, uh, and when you lose your job and you actually you stay at home and you want to play just to pass some time, uh, you're probably going to think twice before actually spending money on games. And even if you pay, pay money on games, you're probably going to spend it, you know, uh, do some thinking, you know, prioritize different games over others. You also need to understand that this game comes at a time that there are so many games coming out, so many amazing games, uh, and some of them are actually free to play. So this is kind of the type of game you actually wait uh, you know, I personally would just wait and see because there are some other free-to-play games which I probably want to play. I mean, Valorant came in and also there's Crucible coming in also on the 20th. Uh, I mean, so many games out there that you can actually play free. So right now I personally play the close uh, beta of Valorant. Uh, I'm waiting for to play a Crucible by Amazon Studios, which looks like a great game. There's also Ninja La on the Nintendo Switch that comes soon, which is a kind of fighting game, 3D fighting game, it looks awesome. And of course, there are many other games, paid games, uh, that I want to play, like The Last of Us, uh, and I'm going, probably going to play Minecraft Dungeons, uh, and there are many other games like uh, Cyberpunk that are going to come later this year, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. So many great games are coming, so people actually just, you know, thinking twice before actually investing their money on a game. Now, if you combine this with bad user reviews and bad critic reviews, you can understand that this actually make people not even think about, but just maybe just ditch everything altogether. 
I personally think that should they should have gone with a free to play um, monetizing uh, approach and just sell items, cosmetic items, just let everybody play it. I think actually it was a great time for this type of game, people staying at home and more people actually playing games and I think they just missed a big opportunity here. I mean just making this uh, you know, a paid game just I think ruined everything. Uh, I think if it was a free, a free to play game, they still have a chance to improve things, get some user feedback. Uh, I mean many developers do that, but well, they didn't. And right now with so many games coming and some of the games are actually going to compete against these genres and look and play not less than how this one actually looks and plays. So this game is going to have some tough competition, even if it was released as a free to play game. And you know, it's kind of sad seeing that because, you know, look how much investment companies put into it. And it looks really cool and it actually was fun to play when I played it. Uh, but all of this, what you see, all this beautiful time and investment in a game seems like, uh, you know, just a waste of time. And the main reason for this is because this is an online multiplayer game. And this means that if you have very few people playing, you won't be able to, you know, Matchmaking won't work because they won't find any uh, players you can play against and of course nobody wants to play against bots Not that I know that bots actually it's part of the game or something. So overall I feel sad uh, Because come on, this is a big company uh, And you know just making those decisions uh, not knowing ahead of time uh, The outcome of releasing a game like this as a paid game uh, Just feels bad And it's obviously a mistake Whether this game will be able to survive after this? Um, I don't think so. There's just too many good games coming out and games that actually compete against this in this genre and some of them are free to play and overall you know people I think won't come back to this. I just can see this game lifting up from this uh, disaster. So this is it, something to share. Uh, again I'm a disappointed player because I actually uh, enjoyed the game I was hoping to play it more uh, but well we need to move on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos are coming. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Cheers.